Hey everybody, I'm here with the brand new Tesla FSD 12.4.2. So let's go ahead and take it for a spin. Let me show you how it works. So any Tesla can run this. You just need to have a car that's October 2016 or later, ideally one with hardware three. And all you do is you tell it where you wanna go and you turn it on and it takes you there. So I can say, for example, take me to Tesla HQ. So we're gonna go to Tesla's old headquarters here on Deer Creek Road in Palo Alto. So now we've put in our destination. All I do now is just hit one button to turn it on. That's this button right here. And we're off. It's now gonna take us all the way. So we're moving through the parking lot here, very cautiously, very slowly. Speed limit here is 15 miles an hour. And it looks like we're now picking up speed as we pass the crosswalk. We're approaching a stop sign here. We're gonna to come to a stop at the stop sign. And then we've got a pretty quick takeoff. Definitely an improvement over 12.4.1, where it was much slower, much less confident. Next up, we're gonna make a right turn onto Campus Drive up ahead. There's Campus Drive and we're dipping into the right turn lane. Now we've got to make a right turn, but we do have a lot of traffic and the car is now proceeding. Now we've got several roundabouts coming up that the car is going to have to handle. So let's see how it's able to handle those roundabouts, how smooth it is given all the traffic from cars, pedestrians, bikes, everybody else that's also happening right now. It's about two o'clock on a Monday here at Stanford. All right, here's our first roundabout. It appears to be clear. And the car is proceeding ahead. Smooth as butter. Very nice. Now we've got several more roundabouts coming up, so let's see if that was just a fluke or if it can repeat its performance on the other roundabouts. It does look like we've got some construction here on the right-hand side. The lanes are completely closed off due to some construction, but that shouldn't be a problem for us. We're already in the left lane and the car doesn't appear to be phased by it. There was a metal plate there in the road and the car did slow down for that metal plate, which was really cool to see. Stopping at the stop sign and we've got our next roundabout in a quarter mile. All right, there's a roundabout up ahead, I think.
got a roundabout sign. And here we go. Looks like we do have some traffic, but nobody coming right now. Looks clear for us to proceed. And looks like it aced that second roundabout as well. I might have done it a little bit faster, but new versions, new builds like this are typically a little more cautious and then tend to get more confident in themselves over time as they mature. I like to say the build needs to marinate a little bit. All right, here we've got one more roundabout. Again, it's slowing as it approaches the intersection. It looks clear, so it's going ahead and proceeding straight through the roundabout. And now we have another roundabout coming up. This time it's got to go around. It's got to make kind of a left turn. There does appear to be a Model 3 coming, but it's going the other way. Very nice. No need to come to a full stop. It just checked to make sure the Model 3 wasn't going to come our way. And as soon as it was out of the way, it continued through. Very nicely done. Next, we're gonna make a right turn onto Stanford Avenue in a quarter of a mile. Coming to a full stop. Thanks, Nitsa. And then we're gonna make a right turn here. This is Stanford Avenue. Making a right turn, nice and smooth. And we've got a speed bump up ahead in the road. The car is currently going 24. It's a 25 mile an hour zone. It's slowing down to 14 for the speed bump. Now it's picking speed up again. It's now back to 25 miles an hour. And moving ahead to 26, 27, 28, 30, which is a good speed, I think, for this road good that it's not sticking to following following the speed limit forever. I would have maybe sped up a little faster myself, but I think as long as it does get up to that speed and it doesn't just stay at the speed limit, it's not going to be a frustrating experience. It does seem to be a little bit overly biased on the cautious side. It does tend to stop at yellow lights way too often. Um, sometimes abruptly. I'm not sure if that's necessarily true with 1142, but I definitely noticed it in 1141. Generally, unless you are really not able to make it, you shouldn't be stopping for a yellow light. When I'm driving and I see a yellow light, the choice is rarely to stop. So, the system should mimic human preferences. Yes, if you're far away, don't floor it and try and make the yellow. But if you are already pretty much over the line, then it makes more sense to go than to stop. You're more likely to cause an accident trying to stop abruptly than just cross the intersection. All right, we're making a left turn here. Very nice, very smooth. And we've got a right turn onto Page Mill Road in a quarter mile.
All right, here's where we need to make a right turn. The car is dipping over all the way into the right turn lane across the bike lane. And it just did it so smoothly and perfectly. No notes, 10 out of 10. Very nice right turn there. Changing lanes to the left. Now we're gonna make a left onto Deer Creek Road in half a mile. So smooth, so natural, it's really unbelievable. And look at this, Tesla, 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 Tesla. Every car at this intersection is a Tesla, which is maybe not that surprising given that we're next to Tesla's offices. All right, here's our left turn. Smooth, natural, perfect. Better than I could have done it, possibly. And we're approaching our destination now on the right side. So here we are, we're pulling into Tesla. They're probably gonna get mad at me for pulling in here and tell me to leave, unless their security isn't paying attention. I didn't infiltrate a Tesla.
and this is where I'm stopping. I see a cyber truck over there. So uh, yeah, I'll probably get out of here now. Oh, V4 superchargers, okay. It's the first time I've seen the new V4s. Oh look, two more cyber trucks. <clears throat> they really shouldn't have let me in here. I feel like someone's gonna come chasing me soon. Anyway, I should probably just take over here and get out of here. But uh, thanks for watching, that's the new hands-free FSD.